Like You're now tuned in to the Out of Left Field Podcast. Hype is in the building. AZ Baby's in here. CEO Ro. Special guest around the table with us this week. Throw your name out there, bro. Oh, yo, what's good? It's Chris Cotton, man. What's good? How y'all doing? I don't know how I put the intro, so I just You're talk. supposed to just throw your name out, shoulders right, down, and I got... You're supposed to just throw your name out, shoulders down, I got the rest. All Episode right. 124. The gang is on assignment this week. We had a full round table back next week, but you already know what it is. Follow us on Twitter at OLF Podcast and on Instagram at OLF Podcast. Facebook is at Out of Left Field. YouTube, 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 YouTube. We need likes, comments, and subscriptions from everybody. Everybody. That's Out of Left Field Podcast on YouTube. Our Heart Radio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Listen Notes, CastBox, all of that. Search OLF Podcast. All right, so what's up, y'all? What's up, gang? Real OLF. New listeners every day, B. That's New what's up. New listeners every day, B. <laughs> All right, you want to start it off with my man Chris? Who's good? Put a new book out. Didn't bring the fucking book. No right. visuals for the folks. Now um, I hear you, man. Like well, first of all, I thought you had to go. You see, I can show this big ass head. Tell me, is you gonna pull it up? Oh, you yeah, got a big man. ass phone. My phone too go. little. Man, here you go. There you yeah, go. Man. I'm I'm so sorry, man. Literally, I dashed out the house. I only got one book. It's fresh out. I just got only one joint. They gave me my my mind. We only needed one for the right here. I mean, I hear you. <laughs> they coming though. They coming in the mail. You can get them uh, digital and all that shit. It's on everything. Oh, Let them know, Let them know the title of the book. The name of the book is Kindle called uh, You can get Kindle and all that. The Kindle Fire, all that other shit. The bottom line is, we are up and coming podcast. You supposed to have a hard copy no right here. Copy that shit. Now we copy all look that. bad. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly my fault. Because you right. fucked up. I'm be honest with you. I'm sure doing bad. You should, have pu- you should have had your publicist on this stuff. Listen, my publicist is dropping the ball. It's your fault, too. She's dropping the ball. Copy that. Aaron, <laughs> a.k.a. Almond Milk. She is dropping the goddamn ball. Almond Milk. <laughs> I haven't had no almond milk. I had, listen, I had some body wash that was called Almond Milk. And it was... <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. I had some body wash. I'm, I'm not going to. It was sure going You sure about on. the shape of the oatmeal or something? No, it was something like that. It really said almond milk. milk. It really said almond milk. milk. It said almond milk. <laughs> That shit and, probably smelled good. It, yeah, that shit like, was like, it shit took me away. Like, when that shit I, probably made you want to turn I mean, vegan. You said that. Yeah, it yeah. you feel that? No, no, I got good skin. I got good skin, so it yeah, works. Yeah, ashy as shit. Tell me you got good skin. <laughs> yeah, I got good skin. Right. I mean, I can still be ashy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Chris, damn, tell us about tell us about the book. Let me right, listen no, to no, about the book. The book is called uh, "What My Dad Did," man. Uh, my theory of joke writing, right? All right, the reason why it's, it's time like that because it's actually a dual book in one. It's telling two different stories at one time. It's telling a story like what I watched my dad do to become like a, a, a to have a career as a teacher, and how I structured my career as a comic slash like writer around what I watched him do. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. so it's telling two parallel stories. Basically, just us about, I mean, most of the book is just us being poor. Mm-hmm. And them just being like, all right, man, dad, why we even stop being poor? Because I got morals. I keep being poor. Oh, and then with us. It builds it, character. Yeah, it builds character. And by the end of the book, it does build character. But you never really stop being poor. You don't notice it when you're not being poor no more. You just right. go from being like, Poor to like middle class. So now like, you what the little, fuck? How do we get here? Now, I don't know. Now you can get, now you can get a little cheese on it, nigga. That's yeah, how. You, once yeah. you start melting, you know, now, Yo, my man, no, dude, that's two pieces of cheese. No, no, because you you see the transformation. It's like, damn, we went from this little motherfucker. <laughs> We got an SUV. We don't know. <laughs> no, you know what's funny? You know what's hilarious? This shit. My car, right? We had a Honda. We had a Honda, uh, Chevy Cruze. Not Honda. Go Chevy Cruze, right? That shit out of nowhere, like three weeks ago, just clumped out on just the tra- the fucking uh, transmission went. So me and my wife, we was like, fuck, we got to get cars. Now, I don't even going to get two cars. I was going to get a second car for her anyway, and I was going to keep that job. So as soon as it broke down, we was like, man, fuck it, man. So we just went to, to Kia. I bought her a, a Serrano, right? So then we was like, all right, man, I got to get a car, man. So next day we got a car. Then I looked up. I was like, how the fuck do we go from being poor with one car yeah, niggas got two cars. to having two nice. cars? We still just was bored, exactly. and that's why as adults you realize these niggas got money, cuz. But you don't got no money, like you don't got no money, but you got fucking money. You know what I mean? But that's like shit. Like in the book, it just I talk, I talk from a real point of view, and it ain't one of these long ass 
drawn ass books. I purposely the whole book front to front, front to back is fifty pages. Gotcha. But it tells the story real concise and real small. It's like reading a montage of both of our lives. That's what it is. If you don't know what a montage is, you I'm probably ain't gonna understand the book. Out there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, niggas ain't too bright. Yeah, yeah, I think it's stuff. But a montage, like you know, you watch a fucking movie and you see these little clips where it's like, God, I remember back in the day when they do a flashback and they throw all those little clips. Mm-hmm. That's what a goddamn montage is. You dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Hashtag all love convo. <laughs> They're gonna be like, he said it's like a monologue. Nah, no, no, a montage. Montage, nigga. All right, what's one of the things in the book that you hope other people get out of it? Man, real we, talk, I just hope they understand the concept of like flourishing and being poor. Like, literally, that's the super. That's, you know how Kanye say his bipolar is a superpower? I, I truly. So I don't. <laughs> well, he said it in the interview, but. Uh, I truly believe that being poor is, a, it's a gift, it hurt, it's a curse like a motherfucker, mm-hmm. but it's truly a gift, because if you can make it to the age of 45, and you truly didn't have shit growing up, and you like, nigga, the fact that you made it, you already like a survivalist mm-hmm. in, the, in the realest form, but niggas don't realize that that's the realest shit, like, people that's rich can't go back and be poor, but people that's poor can be rich. You know what I mean? Like, they can't learn the skills that you got, that you came in and you had to learn just to survive. You know what I mean? See, that's one of them things, like, you always say about, like, your kids. You want them to be in a better situation than you. But I don't want her ass to be like, I don't want my daughter to be like, it's just, it came easy for her. Yeah, I want you to yeah, struggle. Yeah. I want your ass to have to walk to school in the snow. Yeah. I don't want you to get the bus every fucking day yeah. and then think that life is going to be like that. Because guess what? Something starts to happen when your ass ain't got no goddamn car, like Man. you said. I mean, well, that's it's not gonna happen like that anyway. Because if something breaks down or if it's snowing, they're not going to school anymore. No, I'm just it's saying that, but you know, they're gonna do that for you anyway. But, but you know what it's like. When you know what it's like. I give you an example. Yeah. You know what it's like to walk the fuck to school in the snow. Goddamn your son right. don't know what it's like. And I didn't have boots. That's what I'm saying. Your son don't know that. Yo, real talk. My dad said, "Put the dick sneakers on." Like, what do you mean? Put the ones on. I need boots. Yeah, it was hot. My nigga toes is freezing and shit. The funny. Shit was I used to walk. I used to walk from um, one side of South Beach to the other side to mm-hmm. Pierce and shit, right? So when I was going to Pierce one morning, some old head. I swear to God, it was like snowing. It was icy and shit. This dude had to be every bit of sixty five, mm-hmm. right? He was walking in some hard ass bottom shoes, like the, they were like old school. Church 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 the thick sole. Right, right. Wasn't they there. was they was black. It was all okay. black, and they looked like he church. just got him shot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he walking. He, he got he walking real Boy, slow. Glad it's crazy. Dog, I look up and no lie, he. He slid, his body went straight in the air, like he was parallel to the ground, his feet clicked together like a stripper. You ever know when they hit them and they let their fucking heels click together? They hit together and he just laid straight. I literally just walking out of, I don't, I don't know what to do. I just kept walking. Cause I, I, didn't, I wanted to help, I was like, you need some help? He said, no, I was like, I'm gonna just keep walking. Cause he threw out anything. I was like, nigga, I hey, should go home. home. It's too bad out here. We got old niggas slipping. Bro. I ain't, I ain't offering out no help from no sixty five. I'm twelve, nigga. Dog, I Damn, old, help. Oh, it busts his ass, y'all. Y'all should have seen that shit. Nigga, yeah, his shit. Three blocks away already, though. Click together, dog. Like I never seen no shit. I never seen nobody to this day fall that hard. Like that was the best fall I ever seen. But it hurt. It scared this. I, I was just died. Nigga. He died. <laughs> all right, hashtag all left convo. Now, one more thing on the book. You got any more book ideas? Any script ideas? I know you always working and shit. Nick, I got so many. I got so much shit. Uh, I got a couple books that I'm going to work on. I just want to get this joint out and promote this. But I basically going to do a few, like a series of like what my somebody did in my family. You know what I mean? I, I like the, and I, like literally my between family and friends. Uh, I did some shit I went through because I was a dumbass. Like we were talking about that earlier. How I go on no class trips and shit. Uh, but a lot of stuff so I learned from kind of watching people too and kind of realizing like I don't want to gotta go down that road because they already kind of did it you know what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. I use that and I paralleled a lot of things I kind of do based off of things I learned from other people's mistakes you know right. or, or successes to the to a so you could write your fictional joint based on some true situations then absolutely I, you, I don't think it's you don't take from a bunch of different people's situations and scenarios and come up with something out of that, can't you? I, I'm not, I'm not Rick Ross, but I can definitely like a rapper. <laughs> I was thinking like a rapper. You said a good one, but yeah, but uh, not the real one. You talking about that boy from Miami, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not. I can't really take fake shit. Like what I do 
what I do is, I, this is the point of view, I basically like, she was going on, right, with you, right? And I did think, like, let's say if what you did was you sold, like, let's say somebody sold drugs, made all this money, whatever, and then they bought real estate. I would say to myself, out of that, what they did, what could I do in it that can still keep me out of jail, to get the same results, but mm-hmm. realize how to bypass some of the bullshit, too. Right. So I would say, all right, if I just get cut out for selling drugs, what could I sell? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Then it's like, if, if I, all right, let's say if I sell waters, and they say, well, they lock it up for selling waters, or if I get a vending license. So it makes the road seem more, like I legit have a license to, to vend and all that yeah. in the city. I don't even do that shit, but it's just in case if, Nigga, if you add guard, if you add guard to me, right, on some shit, because I'm a fat nigga too. So if you add guard to me, I wanted to come out later on in history, like the nigga had all the paperwork. I don't want, I want them to be like, well, he did everything legit, right? You know what I mean? They so just never had your fault. So you think I can't have lawsuit afterwards? You think they'll give me yeah. some paperwork to start selling plain beads? Like, yeah, after a hot girl summer, you I thought, about, I thought about moving from Plan B. No, Plan B's will, will kill it in the streets. Bro, you just got to make sure you don't, you don't sell it close to like no other pharmaceuticals. Right. Uh, and and yeah, if you sell it at small time, you can sell it. But the wrong B ain't going. But the wrong what thing is a Plan B. What? Nigga, it's what? new Plan A found. Nigga, that's oh, what the fuck. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was, no, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm talking, are you talking about the... Uh, you uh, fucking? You don't know the Plan B? I ain't never used to play. I ain't never used to You're talking about the Plan B pill. This nigga you know what I'm saying? Oh, brother, brother have a slip up and call Hayes. <laughs> I need a plan B, my nigga. Woo. <laughs> that nigga like said, what's a plan B? I don't know. At first, that shit sound like a Ray Carruth or something. You know what I'm Whoa. saying? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I need a plan hey, B. It, it, it kind of does with Ray Carruth. I need a plan B. We're not condoning the Ray Carruth situations on the island for pregnant. She's not going to be pregnant. And I need to get rid of that whole situation. It's the Ray Carruth without the hitman. No, no, fuck that. That's what it is. Yeah. Woo, man. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> OLF combo. And until it's completed, I will be located in the in the trunk of this car. It's the way the roof it out the head, man. You feel me? Bottom line. Until this is completed, I'll be in the trunk. Hashtag OLF combo. Time All right, do. yeah. Time's <laughs> moving on. Uh, you, why you don't want to talk plan B talk? Let's move on. Power. <laughs> what Power is about to come back. Who's got to die? Angela, Ghost, or Tyreek? Who needs to die? Angela took... A Neither slug one. directly to the heart. Why the fuck is she even back? Because she's a big character. You knew she wasn't dead. <laughs> she should not. Nah, I did think she died. I'm like, yo. I definitely like, didn't think she died. The way the ghost made that face, she's like, this bitch is dead. It is what it is. She's been in love with that bitch since he's 15. She, and she's like one of the most horrible Puerto Rican drones I've ever seen. Copy that. She's yeah, not dead. Copy that. <laughs> she's not dead. Copy I know, that. I didn't know. So I, got, listen, I didn't know Puerto Ricans listen, could be. Listen. I got some Puerto Ricans that look better than that. Yo, I don't know Puerto Ricans could look shot, bro. Like that she's not. No, right. and the face, they, it's they, the they, old they, hands. You know, that's right. She got it. She got the Eddie George face. Her face strong. I can't take the old hands. You can't no, be gunning me. That's just that 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 sharp like a bird. Yeah, her whole beak is sharp like right. a bird. Like right. her whole, <laughs> so hold on. Yeah. Like so you go with Angela. Angela. Angela needs to die. Angela needs to die. All right. So, so it's not based off the character or just her face. Not by the way. Ever seen the man? This ain't got no ass, no hips. Nothing. Like, that, yeah, she she is. Is. You're yeah, not like, giving me nothing to work with. She's like Punky this Bruce. Is Puerto Rican. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not bad. Punky Bruce is thinking shit now, though. Oh well, <laughs> Punky Bruce the man. He has to die, CEO. I'm going with Tyreek. He has to die. Oh, you he know, has to die. Young boy? You gotta get his dumb ass out. Because you little ungrateful bastard, you've been living in a fucking penthouse your whole life. You've been taking the elevator upstairs right. your whole goddamn life. Now you want to sell drugs. I'm going to change. I'm going to change my mind. What's interesting about that, I, I want to kill off Tasha. Tasha's not on the list, bro. She's not? No. Why? She's listening. She listening. should be on the list. All right, well, you So you should going to kill off Tasha? All right, right well, yeah, you're going to go off the board and kill Tasha. I, 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 I want to kill off Tasha. I want to kill off Tasha. She's Tasha Tasha the driver of the lawyer. Which one? She keep blaming Ghost for how her life didn't turn out. She could have been better for well for you. Mm-hmm. But in the first season, Ghost was trying to she, be a better she man. She kept telling him to stay Yeah, yeah, no, no, this is who you are. You are the biggest drug dealer in New York, da 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 But I don't feel that because she was with him from the gun bust, like from when he but probably I tried realized. To get my when life he together. was trying to get his life together, you was on some bullshit was telling on some me to stay shit, in. You know what I'm saying? That's just unfair. That's the shit that women say to put that, uh, that nut-ass pressure. Like, what I'm saying is she was with him when he, when he knew who he was going to be. So she knew pretty much who she was going to be. And at a young age, you know what I'm saying? Like, when they did this and set Bull up and was making their track, like, they knew that they were going to be street people that were going to make a big rise in the shit and turn it over. You see what right. I'm saying? 
So it's not like somebody he met along the way. She knew him when he kind of knew himself and was making this. But that's shit never. Up. But that's never supposed to be a long term thing. That's till you can do something better with oh, no. it. So yeah. now I got clubs. Now I got clubs and shit, and I'm trying to turn over a new league. I'm trying to do what the drug money's supposed to do for real, for real. Like I'm trying to no, legit. Like, there's no retired drug dealers. Copy. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, that's because that's because people like that don't let you. Copy. Your friends, your wife, they used to. So concern. what is it? So what is it you want from a nigga? I mean, X said, what is, what is it you want from a nigga then? I mean, what do you want? If, if if you were with me, again, my point was being, if you were with me and this is what I was doing and now I'm turning it over and I'm getting the clubs, is what you're saying. Like, what do you want? the fuck do you want from me? I want to know who you're killing. Yeah, she can go. I mean, if she was on the list, she, she can wasn't go. on the list. Tyreek, right, well, Ghost, he, and Angela was on the list. Tommy. No, I know, I know, bro. I know who, bro. I'm no, saying, I'm just saying. Tommy Tommy on the list me, no, Tommy's not on the Bro, did you get the text? Yeah, it was Angela. <laughs> Angela, Angela. <laughs> 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 no, you added it on and you still don't want to be Show us them. Show us them, Yes. I say kill off, kill off the young boy. He annoying, cuz. I don't like his bitch. He's the heir to the throne. The heir to the throne. That's why throne just fucked up, man. That's why some of those mumble rap and shit he made. Oh, shit. Bullshit because the young boys that came up, they they that's like you said, they ain't never walk, they ain't never see an old head bust his ass walking on in the fucking they ice. Seen the and keep in the air. They ain't never see church shoes hit the fucking jaw like a stripper, cuz once they, you see that shit. That young boy lost his sister, he was a lot of nut shit that he was around the scene that he led was already to that. Some nut shit though, but that's what I'm saying, that led to that. So he's like, he's like, yeah, he, he's just going there. So who you think should be who you think? I said Angela, Angela, me. You said Angela, 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 just put YG on everything. That nigga. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. Unless Angela's going to continue, I guess. I guess to me, unless Angela's going to continue to help us when we got to get through that thick and thin shit. When it comes to the fans being on our ass, because she, she cost me one time. Like she can cost me again when I don't really need she it. You know, cross that nigga. Push came and shove. She stood tall for that nigga. She no, was, but, she but when she thought that she no, when she thought that he killed the boy that she slept with, the other boy, the other Asian boy. Yeah, but Remember she, she crossed him. Yeah, she did cross him because of emotions and shit. She, she didn't really know. Yeah, she made up yeah, for yeah. it by a long She had shot. to go talk to the lawyer for the lawyer boy to say like, no, he would never do that to you. Like he's done this. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know. All right. Hashtag all that combo. Snowfall now. Snowfall. Goddamn Franklin. <laughs> Jerome came home, got his ass whipped. Uh, what's his name? They set the dumbass cop up. What's the fuck? I can't remember his name. They set the cop up though. Uh, Mel Dad. Yeah. He had the little bitch at the bar. Oh. The bitch. Uh, he put. As soon as you seen him, put the ratchet in the drawer with his bag. You knew. Okay, dickhead. They setting you up. Yeah. He lined there right up with the. He said, "I wish I could take you home." Took that bitch to the telly. How expensive. Mm-hmm. Job, she too. gave him dumbass some yams and stole his shit. Stole his yams get you every time, bro. Especially was, when you dumb and they never get. I was dropping my homie off the other night. He just seen some chick waiting outside. I was like, somebody getting chewed off and grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Her friend was waiting in the car. Like, I'll be right back. Gave it a wink. She fucking hey. took it. You can just know she just took his pack money. His dumbass. Party <laughs> big. <laughs> Overpaid too. Like we was we drove past the old NOB last. Like, overpaying is a thing too. Over niggas be overpaying for some nice shit. I, I, can't, yeah, I feel you. Any kind of pay because I don't want to hear her <laughs> mouth. You know when you're older, like all right, I'm paying. I know I gotta pay. But how much do I gotta? How much do I gotta pay? Now I don't know. I have to fucking pay. mouth. Like you know, like so she don't say. I don't want to hear her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I gotta pay. I'm I'm saying, saying, I know I, I gotta pay. Not to hear her fucking mouth and not to feel her attitude. I just want everything. <laughs> Look like I feel like at a certain price point, you, you're not allowed to have an attitude. Exactly. If you exactly. can say no, you the thing is you can say no. But then once exactly. you agree the price, it has to be serviced with a smile. Yes. Unless I ask you not to smile support. because that's the service I'm asking for. Yeah. What is she? What is she? What is she, what is she Why are y'all niggas paying? We having a conversation. We're not paying. We having a conversation, a yeah. having a conversation oh, okay. about topic. price points. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't even go buy Gucci, but I'm gonna tell you how much I'm not gonna pay for it. You get what exactly. I'm mean? saying? <laughs> right, right. Real shit. Go ahead, what you about to say? <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> right, let me bring you back. He oh, started thinking about how I have money. Oh, hold on, he let it work out. Hold on, let's bring it back real quick. We, we were talking about snowfall. Snowfall. Okay. Snowfall. The, cop, the dad. The cop. He got lined up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Franklin. Franklin Louis sent. <laughs> Louis sent the little chick. At him. Right. They got his gun and they got his badge down. Yeah, they took, they took his gun and badge. They obviously now he's he for that. But, so when all that was going down, you know what I thought about? Uh, still a nigga. Like Jay-Z song on 444. Four, four. I don't know if you heard it. It's yeah, called yeah, Still yeah. a Nigga, right? Heard. So he did all that shit. Got, got uh, his shit raided and all, got uh, Franklin shit raided and mm-hmm. all that. 
And the minute he fucked up, them white people was like, oh, oh well, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't have did that shit. Now you right. suspend it. Now we're gonna, we gonna take this shit over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and this what the little white boy that he close to, he think he can trust him. Oh, yeah, white, white, boy, white boy, 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 he on some sucker no shit. No doubt. You see him all off. He on you know some saying? sucker yeah. shit. You see that shit so, all off. I see that a mile away. And then at the end, he said, like, him and they sitting in the car, and he was like, we gonna mount up on these motherfuckers and bust it. Like, basically, they gonna jump on Franklin and yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. And it's great. I gotta feel it's great all crash down for Franklin, man, because now Uncle ain't feeling the mood no more. It's like, he done got fucked up. He his ass. Uncle ready to be Uncle like, trying ah. to get, yeah, Jerome trying to get the fuck out. And uh, Reed, when Reed is watching the joint with the dumbass girl, she is horrible. Reed, uh-huh. bitch. Uh, when they was watching the joint on the news and he seen that K, yeah. he like, yo, that's my fucking gun. You can't yeah. be, you want to fuck you ain't tell me, but rocket. he know Reed is a fucking, Reed is a cop or some shit. Mm-hmm. He trying to get as much shit away from Reed as he can because mm-hmm. he know eventually I'm going to jail for fucking with this motherfucker. And I don't know if Leon make it out this season. I just um, got this feeling in my gut. I don't know, bro. Stacy from uh, the Wood. He met his man. Yeah, he met his man. Leon was looking at that nigga like, yo, this nigga is dope. Yo, she's always, always crazy, though. But no, man. Stacey, that nigga, that he old, old now. He got a <laughs> fat face. He was old as shit. He look horrible. I still, that nigga, he's the nigga that you be like, Listen, that nigga a bitch, OG. but then like, you see him, he still fuck you they up. They got him playing an OG that's on wet, and he looked like he is playing the shit out of that role. It's not, like, not a role, because that's real. Fuck out of his life. Because he did shit out of jail. No, he just got out of jail. Who was your man name that had the mixtape? The Hennessy Nights joint. Uh, he, uh, he looked like he had a couple of Hennessy Nights. Oh, uh, he just got out of jail. Like real life, got out of jail. Probably early okay. this year. Yeah. But well, yeah. Um. So yeah, what was that that they was moving the shit in the Inglewood though? I think yeah, Inglewood. Yeah. That's Leon, what Stacey. Leon was like Inglewood. Like wait, what? Well, that nigga said I can move twenty joints a, a week. So uh, that's yeah. when Franklin. I right, fuck you, you somebody. Get your ass out there. Out there. Oh. Go meet that nigga. We gotta get the fuck up out there. Twenty a week at fifteen a, at fifteen a joint. Fifteen a clip. <laughs> you gotta go ahead. Even if you get a slug in your ass, you can pay for it. Damn, Mel got an ass whipped too by the chick. They paying more than 15 a joint. Mm. Because Franklin's paying 15. The um, Dodgers paying more than that. Gotta be that too. Mel got an ass whipped when she swung past her girlfriend's house. Her dad trying to send her off to fucking college already. Little chick with two braids whipped her ass. And that's going to work against him too. (laughs) That's going to end up working against Dre uh, Dre too. Now his daughter got an ass whipped. Now she paying for everything her pop doing. He trying to send. He trying to be slick and send her to college early so she don't know no better. But she got dipped on now, so now he about to hear that. So like I don't know, bro. But I hope he ends up getting murdered. He ain't gonna get murdered, but I hope he does. Yeah, they can get his done. Bro, what you think about episode? The last episode of Snowfall. Hashtag go left compound. No, I mean you pretty much covered it all. I mean. That's, that's, I don't really have any other thing to say on it. Sounds like his hashtag unprepared. <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm prepared. I mean, it was really... The hashtag, I didn't see that one yet. Copy that. <laughs> Copy that. Yes, you know. All right, man. Follow us on Twitter at OLF Podcast and on Instagram at OLF, OLF Podcast. Facebook is out of left field. I appreciate Soundcloud y'all putting me on this. Show this down, brother, while I'm going through the read. YouTube is out of left field podcast. Chris, throw the name of the book out there one more time. Oh, what my dad did. Hashtag what my dad did. Copy that. There you go. All right. Shout out to And She Creates. Our girl and she creates. Oh, she she bombed on the drink for and us. And she again. creates, man. I see you show us a lot of love on the gram and she creates. Um, much love and respect to you and the your The question she threw out there, she got two was too many fucking people on the joint to try to read all these responses. Uh is a woman when a woman is more successful, does she not want to get married? It wasn't the exact quote. I mean exact question. Let me pull up the exact joint. Go ahead. You want me to attack that while you're looking, though, yeah, no, bro? Yeah, you want to attack that, brother. Uh, the more successful the woman is, does she have less of a desire to get married? I, I, I say I say the more that she becomes successful, you said the less that she wants, she desires, that she to, desires married, to get married. I don't think that's true in my eyes. It's just my opinion, but I don't think that's true in my eyes because I know that if she's successful and she's getting money, if she want to get, if her stinking ass want to get married, she's going to get married. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, it, it is what it is. And if she doesn't want to get married, she's not going to get married. But if if she's, like, having that fever, you know how they have baby fever and all that shit? Mm-hmm. So maybe all her girlfriends is getting married and shit, and they, she want to click up and all that? I believe that if she's stable and she has, a, she's making good money, she's going to get married. Chris, I take know. that one, Chris. I feel, like, I feel like up front, uh, yeah, up front, like, once she, like, once she start fucking making some money, mm-hmm. up front, she'll be like, no, fuck that, I, I, I don't want to be with nobody. Mm-hmm. But I think, like, after, like, five, ten years of that, 
you'd be like, ah, I kind of want somebody. You get lonely as shit. You know what I mean? You take on so many trips by yourself and with your friends that, that shit get kind of dead. You know what I mean? So, but, yeah, I said, I said yeah, at first, nah, she don't want nobody, but after a while, she won't want somebody. You know what I mean? As you get older. Hayes, hashtag all of convo. I want to say it really depends on the, the man she's with or going to be with. Like, Let's say let, let's say she's been with somebody. Like let's say she had a teenage love or some some type of college love, and they've been together for a minute. But that person never put the ring on your finger. But now you're up now, so now it's like, well, you ain't been proposed, you ain't been want to get married. So now I'm not even I'm I'm good now. Like I got some money now. I ain't about to go rushing into marriage now. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, unless he, I guess unless that same person go ahead and pop the question, she'll probably end up saying yes, but I don't think it's a thing where she's asking about it or starting an argument about it or whatever. Like, no, we just living life right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's what it is. But if they come into the money, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it starts out there at the relationship, she'll probably want to get married. Yeah, like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We just met. We got a year, two years. I got my money. You got yours. Let's do it. But, like, I feel like a long term type thing. Like I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really sure about that. But that's a. That's a very interesting question. Though. It's, I just believe. Like, what's the fever? Like, I believe. And I believe nowadays it leans a little. It, hold on, bro. Nowadays, I believe it's a little more toward the negative, though. Like more, more, a little more toward in these days, times we live in. No, we're not getting. It. Like, I believe it's more noble than these days. If I'm being perfectly honest. Hashtag um, all left combo. We got a all that hot girl summer, all this independent <laughs> shit. What? <laughs> <man. laughs> Come on. Oh, man, just, yeah, don't be shy. Uh, we got a lady in the building. Where, what you think about this topic? Hashtag all of combo. Come on. Let's see how you state your name. Uh, what's my name? Uh. <laughs> my name. Oh, no. <laughs> you got your name? name don't get Aaron. on here and get shy. Hi, what is, what is Please, on? pull the bike. My name is Aaron, and my name is also Almond I guess swear they know this Almond Almond milk. Yeah. Come on. Where's the almond milk? There you go. Where's the almond milk come from, though? Is it silk or the shop white brand? It's what? It's the silk joint. I don't believe the shop white brand is going to get me like that. All right. What's my last name? Would she want to get married? Would she feel obligated to get married? Would she want to get married and feel obligated? Would feel obligated? She got the bread. She's not feeling obligated. No, I don't think there's any obligation to get married. Nobody should ever feel obligated. Uh-huh. That's, that's just out. You do what you want. Right. You know? Alright, so yeah, the question was if a woman is successful, does she still want to get married, basically? The more successful the woman is, does she still have the desire to get married? Hashtag all of comfort. I mean, if, you, if you believe in marriage, you won't want to get married regardless if you're successful or not. Mm-hmm. If that's your background, that's what you believe in. I mean, money is just an added plus of it. I would like to think, right? It's going to take off some stress. So you, women, I believe women are going to I mean, because if you got money, you're not really looking for nobody to support you. You're just looking mm-hmm. for what you want in the mm-hmm. phone. Right. So, mm-hmm. that's just like saying, broke bitches don't get no dick. Like, right. you, you can get some dick. Uh, broke bitches get way more dick. Way more dick than the bitches with the money. If they had money, they would get the same amount. It just would be a different color. Broke <laughs> people fuck right? more. Yeah. They do. You, both, people, both people be out here doing a lot. Yeah, be out here like, doing living their best life in the, worst, in the worst way. But there's a lot of people that be doing a lot, though. It's, you, you know, it don't matter if you rich or poor when it comes to be doing a lot. Like, no, both people really be fucking, though, bro. Like, oh, yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I, th- I think that shit right. Lit, too. <laughs> but see, when it comes to. I don't know. What ass broke snatch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy a two for two. We gonna get it. The fuck. No, I'm just saying this is a lot of fucking going on. Period. This is a lot of fucking going on. Period. I don't think it's like a class. You can be poor, poor and rich can fuck. Poor and poor can fuck. Rich and rich. <laughs> poor, rich, rich fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, I would think the more that you got, though, you got more opportunity. You got more work to get done. So you don't have as much opportunity to be doing all this fucking like the broke motherfucker. You ain't got shit going on. You ain't got time to do nothing but fuck. Remember back in the day how niggas had all these kids and shit? Because all they had was time to fuck. They didn't have shit to do. TV cut off at 11 o'clock, nigga. That's how grandma and grandpa had 15 kids. And the cousins was 18 of them. Yeah, that's no doubt. But um, hashtag all left combo. Get back to the initial joint. Uh, Does she still have the desire to get married? 
I think that she don't have the desire to still get married because she kind of taking on the role of the man because she feels as though like I don't need you for the the provider type shit. I don't even need you to protect me for shit. Like, especially this day and age. Especially this day and age, yeah. I don't agree with that. I don't I, agree I, with that's that. What, that's what I, I said. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying I don't agree, though. But yeah, like, I think that she kind of then steps into the role of the man. So then she looks at it like she'll want the type of dude that would be a submissive type of dude. The type of dude who's going to let her run the show. The type of dude who's just going to let her do whatever it is that she wants to do. The type of nigga who says, yeah, all she needs is a husband. She already got her own this, that, or whatever. Not the type of nigga that's going to say, oh, no, like, I'm cool. Like, I can't just do what the fuck you want to do. I can't just go where the fuck you want to go. But you no, disagree, bro? I, Hashtag no, no, yeah, not, not with the whole thing, but just a little bit. Like, not saying it can't happen like that, because it can happen like that, too. I'm just saying more problem. I don't agree with it major- on the majority side, because if a woman gets some money and she likes a guy and he don't got no money... She's still going to look out with her money for that guy no that doubt. don't got no money. No I think doubt. that'll happen more with a woman and a guy who got no money than a guy who, you know what I'm saying? A guy going, he going to trick it, but he ain't, if, you know what I mean? Like, nah, fuck out of here. You wasn't there when I ain't have it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think a woman has a little bit more of a heart when it comes to that, I think, in a sense. Yeah, but knowing where she is now. But they do play dirty, too, though. Yeah, Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Oh, nigga, I done did all this and this for you guys. I'm taking everything for it. Like, you know how. You can get the fuck out. That's right. Whatever. Whatever. She always go However it may go. She going to always go to the. You can get the fuck right. out. But she gonna what I was saying is, as far as like, 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 not a hundred percent, not a hundred percent agreeing is because I really do feel like a woman will, she'll fuck with a dude if she broke and look out, like share the wealth, like share the wealth. Not yeah, like, she I feel like they do, do she can she's in the I mean, like I feel like they yeah. do to but a not price be control. Point. They do to a price point. I feel like they got a number that if they hit that number and oh, you don't like never, and you <laughs> never don't pull in nothing. To get like, oh, you know what I mean? Like it's, like, it's like, let's say oh, if their number is 10,000 and you agree. still at and you still at negative and you ain't five thousand. Yeah, after, after. By the time they hit 10,000, if you ain't even start pulling in, like, only way you can drag that number up, push it up, I agree. if you start adding shit to the talent. Some people like having that motherfucker, though, that I can always rub it in their face that I'm the one who's doing everything. That's different. That's not everybody's like that, though. But Some people are like that, but not everybody's I'm, like that. That's solely on you as a right, person. Right, as a person, right. You gotta, you bring in, you attract you and what you want. Right. Like, I'm not. I, listen, I ain't out here trying to pick up homeless people to, to marry. I mean, right. I, you go. You around. Yeah, whoever you fucking with. Yeah. You around greatness. Yeah. You surround yourself with who you want to be with. All right, but let's not get necessarily though, because like I'm saying, because like, look, you could be like the motherfucker who I always want to be in the dominant position. So if I'm if I'm surrounded by greatness, I want to keep this motherfucker over here to always make me feel great. <laughs> According to some people like that. According person that you decide to, or they decide to be with you. If I say I want to be the dominant and I need to find a submissive, then that's not my fault. Right. You agree to be the submissive. Right. Yeah, no doubt. That's why I said so she got to find she that type of dude. Yeah, she going to find what she wants. Yeah. Well, this is a, to be honest, most rich people and dominant people in the business world are submissive in regular life because they dominant every day. Every day. That's they don't want to be dominant exactly. at home. At home, you want somebody to just tell you what the fuck to do. You want somebody to dominate. dominate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's just personality trick. Yeah. When, and when, and, when, and a woman with money, like women, women care more about different things any fucking way. So, for instance, like if you, I can use my own situation. Like if, if my if my girl, don't share too much. Of it. No, no, I'm talking. I'm good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if, if, if my wife decides that, let's say she she paid. Let's say I couldn't swing a bill and she paid it, right? Mm-hmm. I know her enough to know that I don't have to pay her back that money, but she would rather me, instead of giving her the money back, she would rather me take it to a dinner or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a thing where it's like, I ain't really worried about the money. Do more of that shit. Like, if you do enough of that, I don't, money won't, it ain't gonna mean that much to me. Like, I ain't gonna sweat it that much. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. Now, if you just a broke ass nigga and you just laying around, you don't do nothing, like, you can't even do that. But damn, if I can't give her the money, I gotta at least compensate in this way. Like, you eat the box. At least eat the box. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, at least eat the box. I'm at least suck these toes. Suck on the back of an Achilles heel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up? This nigga sucking Achilles? What are you doing? We call that Troy, nigga. Yeah, this nigga sucking Achilles and don't know where the plan B is. We get more X rated, but we don't need to go there. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna stay Achilles up. I'm saying. Achilles. Yeah, Hashtag no Achilles, man. <laughs> leave Achilles alone. Yeah, leave them Achilles alone, man. <laughs> and, 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 and this is going to have you all right. And this is going to have you all right. 
nah, hit the Achilles. Nigga, if you, you broke, suck what she want. Exactly. Yeah, that's, 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 if you broke, suck what she want. Suck what she want, though. Lad, these niggas is, these niggas is, they had a problem. Oh, 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 what she say, I'm saying, like, if it's on her body, and if I'm broke, and if thing, time is that hard, she like, look, man, look, here, listen, I'm paying for all this. The least you could do is lick her down. That's the least you could do. Stay away from the Achilles and the boots. <laughs> I'm going to be straight. Well, I'm going to be real. I don't care. I'll probably do this shit for free anyway. So, <laughs> leave so the Achilles and the boots. Honestly, if you want to throw a price tag on it, I'm with it. You know what I mean? What's the gooch? Leave the gooch alone. <laughs> That little alley gonna be my balls and my ass. I miss some. Hold up, protect the ones. The gooch. That little alley between the balls and the assholes. Why are you so protective? It's not. That shit feels great. That shit feels great. I don't know what he's talking about. That's what I'm saying. He's out of pocket. If you if you if you want to like if you making a whole bunch of money, you like look get in there, get aggressive. She making a whole bunch of money. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like on the daytime, long as we go out to the movies and everything. I'm still a man. You know what I mean? I'm the man. Let me be the man. But at, at, at nighttime, it's like, yeah, get in there, get aggressive. And I'm going to put the bed on. I'm going to put the bed on. That don't make oh, it. I'm going to be that way. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm going to be, 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 be freak, freaky regardless. You know what I mean? Under no circumstances but, where my legs be up in the shape of a V. Hold on. Not me. Why are your legs in the V? Not me. Your legs in the V. I don't know where, where, how. Your legs in the V. I told him what to listen to. I said stay with you. I'm with that. I never had 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 that. You ain't got to get beat up, so what are we doing now? Hey, I told a woman that she never had that done to me before, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she was offering me. I never. I don't tell want my. I don't know. Can you tell us a good story? Like, stop it. Don't play with my ass. I'm saying. Oh, that's right. I'm not with it. Yeah, no. No, no. Yeah, I don't want it. That's not what I'm saying. But she's saying that she could. She could. She could suck it with my legs up in the air like that. And I was like, listen, I was, listen. <laughs> why are your legs in the air? Wrong with that? Like, that's not out of my. Why are your legs in the air? Why are you looking at the? No. I'm not saying that I'm doing that on the regular the gold on. Yeah, In a I'm freak happy. moment, though, in a freak <laughs> moment, just like in a I'm freak a moment. Like, yeah, I'm like, not being so judgmental. Yeah, and like, you, you gotta let it freak shit. Hold on, hold on. It's nothing to get my freak shit. Let's go to the other side. Go ahead, bro. I need to ask you something. No, no, and it's cool, bro. Because what I'm saying is, no, I'm in milk. My freak comfort is, I don't. I'm, still, I'm not crossing any line of my manhood if I'm doing that. Like I don't play that ass shit. But like, if my legs in there and she wants to suck some balls and and and, and you know what I mean and and all that. Well, I, listen, my, there's nothing wrong with me as a man for letting that happen. Damn, yeah, no, that's the man. Legs in the air. Never hurt. I'm saying, I'm saying, legs in the air. Listen, it took me a minute. Listen, it took me a minute. I'm gonna keep it a bit. I'm gonna keep it a bit. It took me a minute to get comfortable with shit like this. Land. For a no, listen, bro. It took me a minute because you don't like yeah, bitch. You a little too aggressive. Like, what time these niggas you be um like what you be doing? <laughs> I'm not I'm not this is not comfortable. It was it was yeah. one that loved it's it, like, and she's been going ham hey, ever since. But listen, but I had to learn to give a little control. Like she's not man, like she's tossing me around or nothing you like that. You gotta get to his point. You gotta but yeah, I'm telling you, it makes it, it makes it, it makes it more it makes it more to ask you. It makes So if a nigga right, tell right, you we actually I'm gonna Yes, a nigga <laughs> asks you, yo, I want you to throw my drinks up in a V. You no, good I'm with that? I'm not gonna ask for that. First of all, no, I'm the not niggas not asking you. That's why I said. Show this down, bro. I would never get asked that because y'all be protecting the future. Like, you should be like, with the y'all like, shit. I'm telling you. He feels great. He feels great. I'm liking this conversation. No, listen. Hype's damn. Hype's good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Yeah, he gonna take his mic. He gonna take his mic apart. Listen, I learned the first time. My first experience of learning about letting that that what you call the gooch. I don't know what it's called, but listen, I had an experience. Listen, I, I met a chick. I met a chick. We was, we was we was getting it in. She slid up under the pillow. She brought out a toy, right? Whoa. Brought out a, no, not one of no, not no deal though. I'm saying specify. All right, all right, all right. You were supposed to bring out the toy. No, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. I do agree about the road. Show this down. Let 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 this brother explain. Show this down. Explain. No, listen. Show this down. I'm telling you, I'm finding out levels of. 
freakiness. You know. this, is what this is what I'm telling you. It's the first time I learned about this little area you're talking about. <laughs> that I wasn't really, never really comfortable with letting the chick. <laughs> you will never let get. Let, let, let the chick. Iron Max band. Yeah, none of that, right? So listen, no. She bring out that little rabbit, that little vibrating drink that you can control it or whatever. You can control the how hard it vibrates. It's like this big. It's like this big. Listen, right? And she puts it. I'm like, we're, we're, we're having, we're having, we're having intercourse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she intercourse. puts that little bullet in that near that area. Yeah, oh man. man, I was like, okay. I'm 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 like, no, I didn't cry. Oh, I'm like, this nigga's day. I'm vibrating. Like, he said that it should be on board. Bro, you should have. Hey, bro, I'm like, okay, bro. You overshared, bro. You overshared. That's not overshared. We have a good lady. I'm not fine. No, I tried to tell her. I felt like a human vibrator. I threw her. I I threw her like, her this is my time. Tell us about the time we had a vibrator. She, so she put it in your area 51. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that right, like while I'm struck, that's missionary. Missionary, so, so, so she has it like up under the jaw, right up under the jaw. She's holding about right now. and she's hold, like we're cuffing with the balls. You know, I saw his DMs. <laughs> like, yeah, like she assault his DMs at CEO World. <laughs> Do not tell me this shit on the hey, OLS. Hey, 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 shout out to Ming Li. Ming Li. Hashtag Freaky Foot Hazes no more. Shout out to Hashtag the human vibrator. Like the fucking human vibrator. Shout out to Ming if you subscribe, like, and comment, you would have caught this. Shout out to you. What is going on? So, hashtag all that convo. Woo, man. Who was the question? I was trying to throw it to her until he gave his vibrations going. All we know is Gooch. You talking about Gooch. People are going to uncharted territories. And it's obviously okay. Yeah. So, anyway, like I was asking, the nigga asked you to throw him up in the V position, you know. I mean, I'd be a little taken aback by it. How do you feel? I, because I've never been asked. Right. I don't yeah. think you but asked. I mean, you don't ask. Bro, show this down. I'm asking her. I'm know. asking you. I'm going to man. She said we was judging you for the situation, so I'm asking her now. Okay, so the nigga brought it, brought it to the table for you. Because How do you feel? Happen, what do you think? It's going to happen. It don't need to be asked for it to happen. It's going to happen. Copy that. So you came with your bullet, you know what I'm saying, and threw I mean, it up in the V. Everybody don't get the bullet, though. You get the okay. bullet for everybody. I'm cool. And no. I don't think so. Because you have a crazy nigga. Let it talk. 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 No bullet club fight. No bullet club fight. Let it talk. That's when you hear people coming to your job. No bullet club. I just appreciate it. I appreciate her. I appreciate it. Woo! Shit is going off the rails, man. You just got to take a trip. Hashtag no bullet club. Hashtag no bullet club. Bullet always. <laughs> oh, what did you say? Always bullet, no violence. <laughs> no, 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 not the violent bullet. Queen Bo C, bro. You want to know something else? That's Queen Bo C. You want to know something else? That's funny, and I'm glad that you're here to be able to yeah, ask me. Shit, women are so sick. Do you know how many toys these women break, dog? It's a lot. Yo, my bullet ran out of batteries a couple times, and I was mad. So you had a nigga in the V with the bullet out? Yes, yeah, sure. No, it was here. I don't know if this is big. They use it a lot. I'm just saying they use it so much. I, like The bullet helps. There's nothing wrong with it. Why are y'all acting like that? There's nothing wrong with it. I know you had a kingdom has been on South Street for how many years? It's cool for you and your bullet to be one with each other. That's right. I'm hashtag. Now you can't get a little pecker Little pecker timing. What? Uh-huh. Little peckers. Wait, what did you do? I've just... never in my life. What the fuck, man? That's a man back when I was like 11. I was, I was a little insecure. You know what I'm saying? And I, was, I missed something. I missed something again. I missed something. Now I can go with the big boy. Oh, my oh, God. I, I missed something. What'd you say, brother? It's cool, yo. You, 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 you can go back. I got to rewind that. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Missed it. You missed it. Um, so, Chris, let's throw it to you, man. Uh, it's crazy, man. Man, why? I'm talking about. See, the thing that's bad about me is I'm a door opener of conversation. Then I just listen to nah, you. That's no, why I, that's why I'm getting you I now, man. I'm back, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm getting you. All right, so now. What are you talking about? Are you, so you ever caught yourself up in a deep like no. position? No, I'm, just, I'm real uncomfortable with my legs moving in certain directions, right? And that's real talk. It's not even, I'm not, the, also, I'm not opposed to it. And I'm not saying that Roe was wrong. And my, I I'm am. Freaked up. He was definitely I'm wrong. Freak, I'm, I'm just freaking Jason, so I don't care. Like, if the freak door is knocked on, more than likely, I'm going to be like, all right, whatever. As so long as I don't feel so like the book. So if the bullet I'm vibrates scared. on that door, you're willing to let the if, bullet in. If that situation has never happened, <laughs> but if that situation were to be itself, I would be like, if, 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 the, if the gooch was trying to get vibrated on with the bullet in that situation, 
I wouldn't turn it down. I, I, I would. Whoa, I mean, that's, that's what I did. I do just a time only like, situation. I would be like, I would be like, yo, real talk though. Make sure I would. I, I even would say I don't like nothing going in there. But what no, we talking about? Yeah, yeah, don't let it go in the area. Yeah, yeah right, right. Like that. I'm just, I'm I'm anti that. Not like it just don't. I'm uncomfortable. Like I'm like no, I'm good, bro. Right. So other than that, ain't nothing going in in, in, in that area. Right. Past the group. Right. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not trying to get turned the fuck out. So no, leave me a leave. No, me no, no. no. I, I'm I let a little bit go. I'm not on the old. I'm, I'm no. It's no cross those lines. Okay. There's no it's no cross on those lines. I'm saying to 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 the land. It's like the guy with his gun going to the drawer on me, bitch. I'm up. I'm up. I'm ready. That's what I'm saying. No, lag. No, listen. I'm gonna keep that in. So you've never, you've never had, you've never had um, um, oral sex, and your leg just happened to be propped up. Like your leg just happened to be propped up while she's giving. So what if the other leg just was propped up? That's also a slight thing. I'm saying if your leg went back and your legs went up, you in that? You get head some stirrups. Now let's make this fun. Like, like, like. Like, I could be standing up, but what if I'm standing up and, and I'm familiar yeah, with the narcissist Lex Luger? Like, yo, I can no put the bomb. Like, no, no, that was fun. fun. Keep this the is with fun. You, man. Hashtag like, no bullet club. It's, 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 I'm getting some dough or whatever. It really don't, I really don't care. Like, really, if it's, if it's official, my legs, however they end up, is how they end up. Exactly. You know I mean? I'm, I'm sorry. 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 Why are you crying though? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Because you break your tear up. You break your tear up. You ain't never have. First of all, you ain't never have no time. Hold up. Who had that you had happy tears? That make you want to tear up a little. That just make you wipe. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really crying. Let me get up on you. Well, I'm to you next. I'm a victim of those tears. No, you don't. I don't know. Happy tears. I'm a kid, nigga. Yeah. It ain't happiness or sadness. No, it's happiness. You were shocked. Like, it's amazing. It's a build-up of emotion that you can't really see. Right, wait, hold up. Wait, wait. Is this, a, is this why you... Because apparently everybody but me has been here at the happy cry. Oh, uh, no, I haven't happy cry. All right, so all right. Yeah, me and you, bro. I never cry. No, I teared up. Teared up, my bad. Okay. The corner of so was like, this... Wait, so what I'm saying? Was y'all giving or receiving? No, I was... Yeah, I was receiving. I, was receiving. I, was receiving. I think he's speaking from a receiver. She's rubbing right her lips. I'm assuming this was given. This was a given. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. I, I think I was receiving. I'm sure. I've had. Why are y'all saying how y'all niggas is tearing up and shit, bro? It's not like crying. It's not like I said. Like, I think women like, cry. I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't say he was. He was boo hooing on some nut shit. I mean, it, it, it might have been one of these, and it was one of these. I've never been making random noise. I've looked at I've looked at her with I've had a few nature boys. Did you ever one time? I remember one time I literally made a disgusted noise and I admit that I hundred percent like oh, that's what I did. Like, 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 and I looked at her. I was damn. Was like, please like, don't, like, don't, like, don't make that sound again, bro. Oh, oh, we got to move on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. You don't need to know your sound. Right. Right. Shoulders down, Chris. Shoulders down. Just killed my vibe. <laughs> I'll just, all right, Shoulders down. Hashtag all of Congo. Follow us on Twitter at OLF Podcast. I'm just saying, I've looked at, I've looked at, I've looked at them like with deep admiration. Like she gotta know, like. That's what I'm saying. But that's the difference. Like, like, no, look, I'm saying deep admiration. Like, I, I might not, I might not be the first time I've ever met you. Don't I'm like, I don't know you. But how should I look? Like, I think I know you. Bitch, I love you. What? Oh, I, 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 I didn't say that. I, I, didn't that. I just made the up. Totally love it. No, I didn't love say that. It almost came out. You just said it. I took deep admiration. Almost said it. You get caught up. We we not gonna come on, man. We supposed to enjoy this. You, you get you supposed to get caught up in the moment. I, you get caught up almost. No, I don't say it because you know that shit go to deep different levels too. You don't tell the woman you love them when you have soul giving sex. Copy <laughs> after that. No, but it's like I don't want to be all in. I just thought it was good for the show to talk about the. But it it was on like that whole night was an episode because of that because it was a new it was a new it was it was something new to me and I didn't I didn't feel uncomfortable. We did not need that shit. And, 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 and so it was it was we had an episode we had an episode that we had enough we had enough reefer enough bottled water. Reefer. It was the ep- it was an episode. So what you're saying is you were on the midnight train to heaven. It was nice. All right, man. Yeah, we got to move on. We got to move on. We got to get away from hashtag no bullet club, though. No bullet club. Yo, damn. All right, here we go. Damn, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 that
Sound like yo. What's up, what's, what's up, gang, gang? Yo, wait till you hear this what bullshit, bro. Yo, I just, I just yeah. <laughs> Shoulders the fuck up, up. y'all. What's going on? <laughs> we we holding it down. No, your man <laughs> rolls out of pocket, bro. No, it's a lot of. It's a lot of goofiness. Hey. Um, oh. we did the joint about the Jonah and she creates put on. What you think about that? The joint was in a story. Hashtag all left convo. What you say? The Jonah and she creates had in a story. What you think about that? The more successful a woman becomes, yeah. the less she desires to get married. Is that true? That sounds like a hard shit. All right, nigga, we don't know what the fuck is wrong. Call yeah. us back. Sound like him. Oh, yeah. They can hear you now. Uh, All right. Um, damn. They can hear you at the end of whatever. Ooh, follow us on yeah. Twitter at yeah. All of Podcasts and on Instagram at All of Podcasts. Shout out to the gang. On yeah. the road. Travel mercies to the gang on the road. They going, they going, man. We might get in trouble for this one, man. Bullet Club. Oh, man. no, I think we're going to get a lot of ratings on this one. Because <laughs> I don't think we ever chartered these waters before because okay. we never really had a, like a, a female gang. Here, can you hear us? Boy, can you hear us now? I, I can hear you a little. You still sound like, oh, I hear you. All right, go ahead. Somebody else. <clears throat> See if it's just my mic. The um, the thing that Ann she creates put up. You know, the more money a woman get, the less she wants to get married. Is that true? How you feel about that? So how I feel about what? About what Ann she creates posted. About what Ann she creates posted. All right, all right, nigga. Just throw out, throw out some shit that you wanted to say. The speakers is getting you. Is <laughs> you mushing us right now? We can't hear you. Your man wrote tips on this episode, bro. A live tip on the episode is all I'm gonna tell you, bro. It's no tipping, bro. But I mean, whatever. No, sound like it. No. <laughs> You're not. He's a I'm way. I was going over bro. All right, bro. All right man. Love you, love you, man. Love yeah, you, man. Love you, man. Be safe, bro. Be safe. All right, um, next topic we're going to go to. Shout out to the gang on the road. Make it down there safe. Spread the word. Get us some new fucking subscribers. Shoulders the fuck up. See, back no, up. no call, no callers on that topic, bro. You're the first, you're the first caller on the topic. We was trying to get your opinion on it. Oh, that's See, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. What's up, brother? What's good? How's how's the spirits? How's the energy? Can you, yeah, we at the warehouse. We out we out trusted. Shots out the uh, Liddy City and shots out the Tour Underground Radio. Uh, ask him the question. Uh, the question, bro, is He's looking at us. Do women help me? I mean, got me with it because I don't have the question in front of me. Uh, do women do women tend do women tend to not want to get married? Once not want to get married once they get money. Once they get money, what, yo? Don't get your bill money. We got a on the way up here already. You lying? Somebody was going ninety-two and forty-five. Who was driving? Y'all got a car. Oh, I'm pushing this. We call y'all the fuck back. I got a, I got a car full of niggas. Listen, they got a car full of niggas going 90 of the fucking 55. Be safe, niggas. What the fuck? Yo, man. Get out the goddamn Driving phone. down south. Yeah, get off the phone. What the fuck? All right, next Yo, topic. We want y'all to be cool. Next be topic. Safe. Safe. We're going short today. Next topic. Could you be with a traditional woman? What does traditional mean? You know what the traditional woman is. She stays home. She cooks, cleans, takes care of the kids, and all of that. Who's She's not going to work, huh? Traditional. Now we're going to act like. Now wait. Now we're going to act like we know what the traditional woman. No, is. but traditional tradition changes in the day. Well, you Everybody, know, your grandma's tradition ain't tradition. What, she we're, talking talking we're talking about grandma. Talking about old school. We're talking about grandma. Come right. on, y'all. Yeah, my grandma was dead, so I don't know what she was like. I wouldn't say oh, like this. Don't do that. Don't, don't pull that card. <laughs> grandma had 10 kids, though, I can tell you that. And no job. Grandma dropped out in sixth grade. For a traditional chick. What could I be with this one? You get the. I don't think so, man. No, because I'm going to go fucking crazy. Because the thing is with that shit is, mm-hmm. they, they, they want you to. Then you got to do, like, you got to 
humor. Like, motherfuckers go crazy when you come home because they, they be so, like, mundane after a while and the same every day. They, like, look at you like you got to save them from that situation. And it's like, no, just go the fuck outside. Like, mm. I, I, my wife, I could have had some, I remember at one point, she, I don't really hang on nobody, you better, you better make some fucking, oh, shit, know, like, because you not go, go, go have, go out there, go outside, I don't want, if I come home and you want to hear about my day, I'm like, oh, what the fuck you do? <laughs> and it's the same through everything, I'm going to go fuck crazy, I can't handle that, like, go you expect too much from me, and that's what it is, I don't want to, I like all that other shit, like, I don't give a fuck who clean. Oh, somebody clean a little bit. I don't give a fuck. Right. But just don't be home being crazy and bored and then expect me to be like, come in like, hey, man, I'm going to do everything on some Superman shit. I got five hours to make you happy. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Almond milk. Hashtag all love combo. Since you didn't know the traditional woman was and all that. I mean, I know what Could you be? The so if we would have to swing it to you. Could you be with the traditional man? <laughs> Nigga, just I mean, working. Where you're staying home, he's bringing home the bread. You're just cooking. No, things. I got too much anxiety to stay home. I gotta do something, no. and that's why I don't feel like now the traditional woman is really. It, it don't really make no sense. Well, tradi- I'm about to say traditional doesn't change. You got the new age woman where they look at things differently. Yeah, things, yeah, things yeah. happen differently, but traditionally that doesn't change from what it was back yeah. then. Caveman style. Yeah, yeah so, but, but because pe- because so many things have changed, people's work like, work like this. Ethics has changed, which kind of changes the whole tradition. Kind of like yeah. it, it, you can't have the traditional woman and then expect the woman to be out there making money and having kids and cooking. Yeah, copy. They got. I be tired of shit when I get home. You know, like I legit get home and die for maybe four hours before I gotta wake up and be back doing adult shit. Like that's it's, it's hard to be a tradition. I don't want no kids though either. So you got people like me who don't, don't want no kids. kids. So I'm not. Do you already have kids? No, I don't have any kids. I got a dog. And that's all I want. I'm cool. Like, he pisses me off sometimes. I, I, I get migraines all the time. So, if I can't take care of myself, I really don't want to have to wake up with a migraine and take care of a child. I'm much happier passing the kid back to whoever. Oh, shit. So, traditionally, I'm not a traditional See it. <laughs> it's not, it's not yeah, see it. Self-evaluation is always the best thing. And if you know, self-evaluation, always great. And if you know, like, I need to get, I got my own shit that I got to deal with every day, and I know that I don't want to put somebody else in this situation where now I got to care for you more than I care for me. Right. And yeah, they shouldn't have kids. Some motherfuckers will still have six kids and go, I'm doing and some of it is six kids. from the rip, That's dog. what I'm saying. You have six kids and then be like, I got to get these new Jordans. You seen these motherfuckers, the green ones? What? Right. Hashtag all up combo. Haze. Good luck on them not wanting no kids. They had a tendency to be a very overrated experience. Oh shit! Ah, <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, it's, it's a good thing Hayes' kids aren't locked in. Wow! Don't, don't damn. take that wholeheartedly. Don't take that in <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> My daddy be home soon. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Hustle <laughs> Hustle Mar <laughs> Salas for little. Yeah, 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 His son gonna write a book. His son gonna write a book. Gonna write a book. <laughs> Shout out to the Hustle X man. So I, I used to think I would be okay with that if I made a certain amount of bread. Like if I made the kind of money where I could take care of her and she ain't got to do nothing, I probably would. And to what you said, Chris, nowadays they ain't that bored because I, I got a feeling the woman to just stay home and be on a grand all fucking day and just be in love with either, it. Though, I don't, you don't want it. I mean, she can like, turn that into a job. Yeah, you don't yeah, want that. Yeah, that's, that, 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 that's the goal. You know what I'm saying? Shoulders down. That's the goal. Like, you want her at least at home I don't know, knitting hats or sweaters. Like, I agree with that. Too, I man. agree with that. You know what I'm saying? However, though, like I said, before my old answer would be yes, if I could make no money, but now, no, no. If I got to work, you got to work. And, it, and, and if I got to go out and do shit you do, like, just for your own sanity, like you said, like, yeah. you're not going to be cooped up in here all day. Like, and and if they work from home, home, too, I mean, I, I feel like if you work from home, that's me. still... You're mushing me. No, he's he, not traditional. He's mushing, oh, he's mushing me. Okay. He's mushing me. Oh, he's mushing me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> man, my bad. I Hashtag all love combo. See, this is why I would say that I could be with the traditional woman, because my mom was the traditional woman, because my mom worked out of the house. Her job, obviously, was to take care of the family, because that was what... That's what you do. But she worked out of the house. She made dresses and shit and moved it all out of the house. So, yeah, she wasn't sitting in there just waiting for my dad. Like you said at the door, you ain't got shit going on. And you just, your whole day revolves around, oh, shit, you're finally home. What did you do? How was it? What did you have for lunch? What did you walk three paces and all that bullshit? 
So she had her own shit going on, but it was still in the house. So, like you said, the motherfucker could be on the gram all fucking day. She could be a blogger, though, mm-hmm. putting shit out on the gram all fucking day. But Just she like, had friends, though, right? Like, she got friends. Yeah, friends no doubt, yeah. Like, but I mean, like, you know, when you said she's sitting home all day and you ain't got no friends, now, yeah, your whole life revolves around me. You and the kids and shit, that shit's so crazy. Sucks. That sucks because, yeah, eventually these kids ain't six no more and they don't need you to cut up hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah. You act like you hate that. You're dreading just that. Look at, well, when I was... Hashtag all of comedy. I was working, or I wasn't working when we moved. Mm-hmm. Me and my husband moved. And then he was working and I didn't have a job because we was in a new space. And I had no friends because we was in a whole other state. And I had no family, so I would be at home looking for jobs. Yeah, see, that's different, though. And so you know? my life kind of did revolve around him because he was my entertainment. And his friends that he knew at work would come over and they were kind of... It, it fucking sucked. Did y'all right? move for his job or something? Yeah, he was in the military. All right, so yeah, that, oh. that's different then. If you oh. move to a whole different state, then all right, yeah, we are each other's whole world because we don't know nobody but each other. Trans. Until you go to work, that's how you... Well, yeah, the as life a, of a as military a, wife is... But as a grown-ass person, how you make friends is at work. 